Hey, bowling super fans. My name is Emil Williams Jr. Coming to you from the Research Center. I've got my main man, Tom Frenzel, with me. And anytime we are inside the Research Center, that generally means Earl is about to do something cool. And that's exactly what we hope to provide you here. The first episode of Earl's Journey to 900, where we hope and we will look and we will do everything possible to help Earl shoot a 900 series. The scoring is pretty simple. Earl strikes, it's a strike, of course. If it's a makeable spare that Earl leaves, we will give him that spare. If it is a split, 7-10, anything like that, of course, we will give him the count. Washouts, of course, he could make them, but in this case, he just gets count. So for more on transitions, there's some human element involved. What ball are we using? What pattern are we bowling on? Tom Frenzel is here to explain all that. Tom, what do we got? Absolutely. So with this test, we're really hoping to learn a lot about Earl and a lot about what it takes to bowl a 900. You know, most of them that have happened out there have happened on typical house shots, so that's the plain pattern we chose. We have a 42-foot walled-up house condition. Should have lots of room to miss, which with a robot, hopefully that should help us do this pretty quickly, but we'll see. Even though he's a robot, he's not perfect, and if you've ever worked with robotics, you probably already knew that. So, <laughs> but it will be it will be a nice a nice journey for us. So, that's the lane condition. The bowling ball we're using a low RG high differential ball, just a, a strong bowling ball. Um, and then how we're going to move Earl is the same way bowlers would move. A lot of times, a lot of times bowlers count moves with their feet, with their eyes at the arrows. So, you know, some people track their ball at the break point. So we'll be looking at those three points, you know, where Earl's setting the ball down, what his launch angle is, where it's at at the arrows, where it's at the break point. And that's gonna help let us know if we're lined up. And then as we see the ball change, as we see it start to hook early, that's where we have to make that guess. We have to make, okay, do I move this frame or next frame? And, and that's the human element, and that's gonna be the variance. And hopefully as we learn more, we'll, we'll put up some really big scores. Indeed, so we are the, the human element essentially for Earl, so the journey to 900 begins now.
Help. 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 Well, 679 is the score in episode one for or on Earl's journey uh, to 900. We saw a lot of cool things. We learned a lot. We know that Earl is pretty accurate. Only missed a pocket uh, three times overall. But we did learn and a, a lot about, of course, uh, the moving situation, that human element that we talked about in our intro. And it certainly came to play a role in uh, our first episode, Tom. Absolutely. So before we got started, we threw a series of practice shots, about 15 practice shots with Earl. We tried to get them all lined up. In that point in time, the ball was sanded to 2,000 grit, but we decided we needed a little more surface, so we scuffed it with a 500 pad, got him lined up, got a couple strikes in practice, moved right into, right into bowling. And you know, there we had the front two, and then pretty, pretty early we got into split trouble. Um, whether or not that's not being lined up perfect, the ball hooking a little bit extra, it's kind of hard to tell still. Over time though, throughout the night, we did see more splits happen. So as we keep bowling in the same line, the front part of the lane is getting eaten up a little bit and that ball's starting to transition. So we need to predict that a little bit better uh, moving forward. But 679 for a first try is a pretty, pretty exciting first try. So I think, I, think I, we got, I think we got some big scores to come. I would say so, and then one of the other things that we did learn, certainly the element of speed control, which certainly came uh, to play a part also uh, in our episode one, and you know, the very small uh, margins for speed control made a big difference today. Absolutely, so when we started to move left a little bit, we noticed some, some drop in our carry. We had some, some you know, makeable spares back to back to back, you know, 10 pins. A lot of wrap 10s. A lot of wrap 10s happened today, but we found that if we slowed Earl down, just a tenth of a mile per hour, just point zero or point 0.1 miles per hour. That that's the difference between wrapping that 10 pin and hitting the pocket solid and, and getting that, that carry. So. And bowling super fans, don't forget, certainly do us a favor. Give this video the thumbs up, like it, and share it with all of your friends so everyone can join uh, on Earl's journey to 900 as well. So for Tom Frenzel, Jason Thomas behind the camera, my name is Emil Williams Jr. We'll see you next time inside the court.